Well, I'm sad to report that it's looking perilous again for Derby County. We thought that we'd cleared the worst of it, but uh, businessman Chris Kirshner has failed to meet the deadline to prove he's got funds to complete the takeover, the administrators have confirmed. He's been in administration since September last year, and he was named as the preferred bidder in April. And there's a deadline, five o'clock on Friday, it's now passed, and uh, Qantas, the administrators, can now talk to other interested parties. The, the English Football League have called for clarification of how they plan to take the club out of administration. The EFL said, as previously communicated, the league is incredibly frustrated at the time. It's taken to conclude this sale with the league just two weeks away from announcing the fixtures. It urgently requires an under, a clear understanding of how the club will be funded moving forward, but that through the administrators, be that through the administrators or through new ownership, um, I think this is a fundamental problem. Like, why couldn't he prove that he had funds two months ago? Why, why now does he? Why is this period? Why has it got to this position where um, it now appears like he doesn't have the money? Why are people who don't have any money allowed to buy assets? You know, allowed to buy football clubs and play a game of brinkmanship? Because if he walks away, he doesn't lose anything, right? But Derby County could lose his existence because he maybe thought he could get some finance lined up. The finance might have walked away because of the, you know, potential global recession, whatever. But why was it even got to that that position, you know? And he's not really said anything. Um, and this is the, obviously... They're looking to get concessions. There, what there, there has been a rumor on Twitter that some of the fees charged by uh, Quantuma, sorry, is the administrator Quantuma, are too high, and um, he believes that they need to be reduced. But obviously, now you're in a situation where some of the parties who were interested before may have had the finances lined up. And now that now those finances have walked away, they've gone on to other deals. They're not interested anymore. They, the economy has turned actually. So you might have like you know, allegedly a lifelong Derby fan, Chris Clowns, um, you know, other businessmen may not have deals. So there might have been ten bidders. There might not be zero, and you might be left with someone like Mike Ashley. Um, and it just, it's, it's shocking. I think, I think Rooney might leave, to be honest with you. They've only got five first team players. They can't obviously buy anyone. Uh, and if players are out of contract, they can't offer fresh deals for them. So they may not actually have any players. Uh, the preseason must start in a week or two, maybe. And the season itself's like seven weeks, eight weeks away. And Liam Rosini has been linked with the Blackpool job. You can't really blame him if he goes. Um, they didn't start last season in administration, so they were able to recruit some players. But if they're in administration when the season starts, and they obviously can't fulfil their fixtures, it's not possible. They've got five players. I don't even know if they've got any youth players left, but they can't. They can't play like 16-year-old kids, all of them. They can play a few of them, but it's just madness. So, and also, like, they don't have any money. <laughs> it's just a disaster, you know. Um, it really is a disaster. You know, and it's ironic that in 1972, Derby won the league, won the Premier League, like, well, the first division. That was uh, obviously achieved by the great late Brian Clough, that was 1972, 50 year anniversary. And the club might go out of business on the 50th year, 50th anniversary of one of their greatest achievements and actually a massive achievement in English football. Um, and I think, well, more than the season, liquidation is an issue now. There really needs to be a very, very quick solution um administrators can talk to other parties but you need someone that's going to take on the debts and uh, you know there's obviously some issue around the stadium so it's on a knife edge Derby County could go go into administration um, could go out of business sorry you know at the stroke of a pen 
and that's that's not and that's not a small football club by the way Derby County is a big football club and another great football club an institution that's uh, really important to a local community local uh, important to an area just goes and it and if I want to get a little bit political about it um, the fabric of this country is changing because football is a fundamental part of this country and the financialization of it is destroying and changing the fabric of the society and it's not changing it for the better it really isn't changing it for the better it's changing it for the worse so our fingers crossed derby has survived but it's perilous it's absolutely truly utterly perilous at this point